got a couple of photos over here on this console table on the left. There is a picture of Gladys, one of Elvis, and one of Lisa, so three generations of Presleys. And you will notice that they are all posing in, around, in front of the very same mirror. That mirror is actually hanging back there in the music room on the left-hand wall. It's a little hard to see from here, but it is back there. And then that mirror was originally in their first house they bought in Memphis, and over on Audubon Drive. Mm -hmm. They just brought it over here with them when they moved. Uh, and the pictures weren't planned. It was just kind of, they were looking through photos one day and realized that they had pictures of three generations oh, cool. all in front of the same mirror. I want y'all to see everything in there. We're going to head down the hallway here. <laughs> to go visit Grandma Nene. Uh, the ponies did what ponies do. And Elvis discovered real fast that was not the best idea he had ever had. So he did a U-turn, took them back outside, and had someone clean up the mess real quick before Grandma Nene may ever knew. I heard a story. Because of his somewhat unique taste in clothing, you could always hear him come in before you ever saw him. Uh, because Elvis jingled when he walked. <laughs> You yeah, guys? The door at the top of the stairs, does that go into this? Uh, this door up here inside. just goes down into the kitchen. Okay. Yep. I'm so sorry. And then that photo album. Now we normally have it displayed closed, but it is just full of pictures of Lisa. So it says family photos on the front, but I, could, I think you can tell who the favorite was, basically. Um, and then we've got her little baby trike on the ground as well. She opened that for Christmas one year because this is where the main family Christmas tree always sits in the very back bay window. So she opened it up for Christmas one year and just kind of drove it around in circles because she thought the marble would make a great racetrack. So it's one of her favorite memories from Christmas. And another beautiful picture of Lisa and Priscilla over to your right side. It's from 1970, so Lisa would have been about two years old in that picture. So grab some photos. Take Back to 1974. Back then, this would have been the coolest place in town. Uh, Harvest Gold, avocado green, wood paneling, Formica countertops is the coolest place in 74. Uh, but this is kind of a special place because it was kind of still in use by the family up until a few years ago. Like when Lisa would come back with her children and spend Christmases and Thanksgivings here, a lot of times when Miss Pauline, one of Elvis's cooks, was still alive, she would come with her kids and they would actually make the food here in the kitchen. So we'd have to flip the switch, turn everything back on, and Miss Pauline would make, uh, you know, fried okra and fried green tomatoes, fried chicken, fried catfish, basically everything fried. Uh, that was the one time of <laughs> so year they food. could do that. It's the South, man. And then, of course, banana pudding for dessert. So Miss Pauline did that for a really long time for the girls and uh, for Lisa. And then, of course, she passed away. So they switched to catering. If you need a recommendation, Corky's Barbecue seemed to be one of Lisa's favorites. She loved their fried catfish. So there's one for you. And then we've got a couple pieces from the archives on the table as well on the counter. So that little serving dish with Mickey Mouse and Disney characters she used to eat out of when she was a child. And there's an Epcot glass, actually, that she left here in the 80s, which is funny. Uh, we had family living in the house until 93. And yeah. Aunt Delta's room was in the very back, so that doorway straight in front of y'all. When she'd come back and visit Aunt Delta, she'd just gotten back from Disney World, and she accidentally left her cup. So it's just been hanging out here ever since. So if you need to know where that's from, go to Epcot and get you one. These two rooms that you'll visit, this is the TV room, and that's the pool room over there. You know, Lisa Marie always said there was a lot of mayhem going on in the basement. A lot of fun times, a lot of shenanigans took place in this basement, these two rooms. And I'll talk about this room first, the TV room. They got the name because of the TVs that are set up in this room. This was very much like an entertainment room where they could watch television here or watch movies. You see the movie screen that could be pulled down. Uh, they could listen to music. You had that jukebox that was installed and built inside the wall that could hold up to 145 singles in it. And you also see part of that Elsa's personal album collection, a record player, and a jukebox, excuse me, and a radio and stereo dials above the jukebox and the record player. And you also take a look at one of Lisa Marie's own albums that she had as a child, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. <laughs> you know, all the music that you can, that was played in this room by Lisa Marie, you can hear it throughout the mansion, or even in this room, there you see the speakers, there's original speakers in this room, and also throughout the mansion. What are these orb things? No, those are lamps. Oh, okay. Again, all the music that was played in this room, you can hear it throughout the mansion. It was hooked up to the speaker system throughout the mansion. 
When the, I also want to talk about some uh, other records that Lisa Marie was part of her record collection. You look at the bar at the very back, you'll see some records of Elton John, one of her favorite artists. She received those for Christmas, including that album Rock of the Westies. So yeah, she enjoyed listening to all types of music in this room. Now Elvis got mad because she was listening to somebody that wasn't him. Pardon me? Elvis got mad because she was listening to not him. Mm -hmm. like, she's like, why is, he, why is she so interested in this guy? Why is she mm -hmm. listening to me? I don't know about it's, that. It's in the book. Yeah, it's in her book. It's in, it's the in her book? Yeah. Okay, I've not read her book. <laughs> my book, uh, I found out uh, tracking it on United States Parcel Service, my book was still in Kansas City. <laughs> so I'm still waiting on it. Oh, okay. I'm street. still that's, waiting that's, on mine, that's, too. Okay. that's the mail system for you. Right? Okay. All right. Um, one of the favorite things that she liked to do in the basement was to turn out all the lights and play hide and seek in this room. So you can imagine them hiding behind the bar, behind the couch, even by the pool table. So it's a lot of fun and games are always in this room. Also, you take a look at the bar where, you know, some, in addition to alcohol being served on the bars, you know, they served ice cream too. So she enjoyed eating ice cream. Before we now, we're gonna move on into the pool room and I can tell you about the pool table that Ellis bought in 1960 after he was, he was released from the army. And it's one of these red pieces right there. Right? It's the red piece. Oh, it looks brown yeah. on the... It's brown on the, all the way on the end. On the oh, yeah. It's supposed to go all the way across. Yeah. The left see, side is yeah. missing. I see it. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, that was called by Lisa Marie throwing a ball on this. You don't see it? I see it. Price album. And that is the dress right there that she wore Had it when he was alive. Now, when y'all are done taking your pictures in here, you're gonna walk out that back door to the right hand side and go underneath the carport. We thank y'all so much for coming. Thank you. Some Lee's swing set. Yeah. I'll go back to Graceland. Okay, I'll go on. I'll wait for you out here. This is the back. Right there is where. She said she saw him for the last time in her book the night before he died. Today.